10 million. <laughs> open, as everyone thought. But it's all over, all paddock. And the students had laid marbles all over the floor. Wow! And then later I was actually in a taxi in Piccadilly. And then I, well, they stopped, and then the other taxi was facing the other way. And Brian Moore was part of the book taxi and said, Boy, what the fuck is going on? We just came out from Italy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but they sort of carried it out into, uh, into real life. But, um, <laughs> but um, no, you know, it, it was a, uh, it's kind of, when you, it's a big question what do teachers do? You know, what they, I hang about it really, have conversations about it. And so on like that, I have to say. But not getting in there and saying, why don't you do this or you know, anything like that. Because this was, then at the end of this, there was this thing which um, must have bored them to death. I was come up with this example. But in the West, we have the idea that if someone says to you, paint a tree, you tend or depict a tree or draw a tree. Instinctively, you kind of do it in the middle distance, right? With the thing sticking up and bushy stuff on the top. That's we tend to see we tend to see nature or we used to in the middle distance. And if you were to say that in the east, so to speak, um, the answer would be, well first I've got to become a tree. I mean, first I'll become a tree and then I will depict tree. You know, I'll make tree in ink. And that's what we're trying to get at. If you we could then talk about this game that was designed, or this city that was built, from the inside, do a drawing of the, of the game, do a drawing of the city. And so instead of perspectives and things like this, you draw out of the experience, all the behaviors you've been, and how you do that. You know, you do it on scroll, do you have to do it in time? You know, what, what methods of representation do you use, and so on and so forth. So, that was a sort of the other part of it. At this point, the teacher, the artists that were hanging around, <laughs> the good paid to hang around, could actually get involved in a conversation about notations, about representation, and, and stuff like that. But um, so there was that follow through, which was kind of important, really. And, um, and then they would think about, well, you know, where's the art in all of this? And, all those sort of questions is it the outcome, is it the reflection on, is it the process of making, and all those uh, questions and so forth. So, um, yeah, so seen as a whole, that's, that's what one would be. That was like a term, so to speak, you know, within the. Yeah. Was there a final show show in that classic sense that I mean, it's still caught up in the show cycle? Yeah. Art schools. Yeah. Was there ever a final public exhibition? No. Right. No, another no, talk. Makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. another talk. Uh, there were consequences, you know, in what people did, as we know, some of them more famous than others. But, uh, but um, yeah, no, 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 nothing like that. Great. Yeah. Did you ever grade in any sort of way? Mm -hmm. Did you ever grade anyone in any sort of way? No. Um, I never have in, in my life. It's always, have you been there? What do you think? Uh, was it fulfilling, very fulfilling A, eh, this is a good B minus, you know, no, not really. I, I've tried to avoid that as, as soon as far as possible. And that was easy with sort of at that, in that stage in people's lives. Either they want to go on or they don't. They it's great, I mean, quite interesting in relation to what can happen now. I very much advocate not grading, but I was working recently as a, um, on the advisory panel for, for Trinity and Marvin's uh, co-lab, like, the whole of the institution, sort of thousand students, stop what they're doing for, you know, stop their normal courses for a fortnight and have to collaborate on different sorts of projects. And I, su I suggested that maybe they, it should be unassessed in relation to the things they could test. Um, the feedback we got was because of how much students are paying now to be in education, if you didn't assess it, they'd just go off and do their job. They go off and do their part-time job, they wouldn't, wouldn't come to college for that two weeks. So you have to assess it to actually make them attend the college to, you know, to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, in China, I must admit, it's a slightly different situation there, which I'm not sure is really great. But I mean, basically, 
the institution ensures that everybody's there at certain times with a fingerprint. So you go in chunk and, and you're there. And uh, but once there, I mean, like it's a very open situation. But that's another way. <laughs> that's another way. <laughs> Uh, I mean, within that, of course, you can go out again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but you know what I mean, it's sort of brackets, basically. It's sort of brackets, I, I guess you could say. But um, it saves a lot of other mess in that. I'm certain, you know, we don't have to keep an account of anything, because it's there. Um, so I suppose the psychology of that is this, 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 if you, you start in, in the physical institution at nine in the morning, and you definitely quitting it formally at say five whatever you do is what you do but there's been like some kind of connection i think that's the idea really basically it's not like bells ring if you if you or <laughs> <laughs> guns appear or they're enlisted in the in the army or something like that um <laughs> these things you might imagine to happen in china <laughs> yeah so like that mm. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks, right? That was. Uh...